the last team in the NFC North. And they have been perennially, that's a word, last lately. Justin Fields, he's gone. Caleb Williams, he's there. The number one pick in the draft. They were 7-10 and 10 a year ago. The era begins with number 13 coming out of USC. According to DraftKings, Raphael, over eight and a half, and it is juiced heavy to the over. Tell me what you like, and how is this possible? Yeah, a little shocked that some of the line movement here. The Bears only had seven wins last year. I think they maybe improved one. But the first two six-figure bets in total season wins I heard from books were the Bears over, and sorry, Coach, was the Chiefs under. I don't understand why the Bears are getting so much love. I know they have a, a lot of great pieces that they got in the offseason, but I just think they're maybe one game improved. I think they might have a little bit of holes on their defense, and their defense has improved from last year, but I just can't do this number. I love the under on this one because this division got better. I think the Vikings are not as bad as we just bash them. I think the Packers and Lions are always going to be there, but I think the Bears under. I just don't see this many wins. It still blows me away that the books took this much money on the Bears over. I agree. And, DG, if, if you just put the number up there and said, would this be plus money or not, I would have been like, this has got to be plus money. But the juice is crazy. What do you like? Yeah, I'm having to go. Uh, let's see. Let me look in my bag real quick. And uh, what does it say? Oh, it says Bears <laughs> under eight and a half. If you know, you know about the bag. But I, I just think that the the Bears have to not be as good as people think they are. Because honestly, I, I don't believe in Caleb Williams. And that's what it all comes down to. I know they have DJ Moore. I know they have Keenan Allen to throw to. But I just don't believe in Caleb Williams. And that's where completely I stand at. I don't see how they get to nine wins. I think that's a very, very tough get. He has talent, but I live on the West Coast. I've watched every USC game the last couple of years. He loves his stats. He loves being flashy. He's not a grinder, and he's not a winner when it comes to winning big-time football games. DG, I agree with you 100%. Charles, do you agree with us? Yeah, make that three for three or four for four, however you want to put that. But I struggled to see where they would get wins. I, maybe the Cardinals, Vikings, they may sweep, Titans, Panthers, um, Patriots. And the ones, um, Colts, Seahawks, and Commanders, those could be the tricky ones. So I thought that they would maybe land on eight wins, maybe seven wins as well. So I'm happy with under eight and a half wins for the Bears. It almost feels like a gift. And Seabass, uh, Matty Ice in the chat, though, says the offense is going to be fire. What do you think? Which offense? The Bears? <laughs> That's what he says. I, I would disagree. Um, again, I'm right there with you, Coach. I just don't see it for this kid, Caleb Williams. I mean, he's he, you said it. He, he's about himself. And, and maybe being a DMV guy, I have a different thought about it. DMV as in D.C., Maryland, Virginia, not the Department of Motor Vehicles, which <laughs> where he grew up. But um, I'm just not feeling Caleb Williams. And, and the Bears quarterback carousel is starting to look like the uh, commanders the last few years. It's just a ro revolving door of, of, of guys coming in and playing. So I like them under as well. Yeah, especially when you're in a division. A lot of people are saying this may be the best division in football, especially with the Packers and Lions at the top. Juan 50 says, I've seen Caleb Williams live numerous times. I don't believe in him either. So that leads us to our prop plays. Raphael, where are you heading for the Bears? Yeah, I'm going to disagree with Charles, who said maybe it could be a sweep uh, with the Bears and Vikings, but I think it's going to be series tied. They play each other twice in the regular season. I think it's going to be tied 0-0 plus money. Because don't forget, the Bears are in a sandwich game between Minnesota. They play at Green Bay at Soldier Field, and then they go to Detroit on Thanksgiving. So you figure Detroit will win that game on Thanksgiving, so all the Bears need to do is win that game in Soldier Field. So I like to split 1-1 on a series tie with plus money. So many fascinating plays. Raphael, thank you for digging deep and doing your homework, as always. DG, where are you headed, sir? Yeah, I'm going to go with DJ Moore and Keelan Allen to both catch five touchdowns. It's at plus 152. Mm -hmm. And if you look at this line as well, uh, uh, Keenan Allen uh, on his uh, on himself, he, as long as he has over four and a half, it's minus 110. So I paired him with DJ Moore. But there's no fact that I think both guys can benefit from each other because Keenan Allen is a red zone threat. But DJ Moore can honestly take one to the house at any moment. And so uh, I, I think both guys are going to be a very good option for touchdowns, but also think that Caleb Williams is going to want to throw it up a little bit. And so uh, I, I think both guys can easily get to five touchdowns this year. 
One thing we also promote here at DTL is objectivity. And Sox Nation, when you call yourself Sox Nation, we know you're from Chicago. So don't <laughs> write. You guys are all wrong. Guys that pick losers day in and day out, learn football. Be objective. Be objective. Be objective. That's all we're asking. This is a discussion. We're not against the Bears. I am. Sox Nation. Yeah, Rob, you're the guy. Yeah, I really, really am. Uh, Charles, uh, do you agree with Sox Nation? Where are you headed on your prop? Uh, well, you may like this one. I've got the Bears to score at least one rushing touchdown in every game at plus 12,000. They averaged wow. 0.9 last season, and they picked up DeAndre Swift in the offseason as well with the rookie quarterback. You know, they lean on the running game as well. So inside that, um, inside the red zone as well, inside the five, is, I could definitely see them leaning on the running game to uh, to do uh, plenty of scoring for them. So plus 12,000, worth another swing, one touchdown every game for the Bears. That would have landed in our long shots category on DTL golf right there. Plus 12,000. Let's go. Seabass, where are you headed? Caleb Williams under 23 and a half passing touchdowns. I just, again, I don't see it for this guy, but here's a list of rookie QBs who have thrown 24 or more touchdowns their rookie year. Justin Herbert, Baker Mayfield, Russell Wilson, Peyton Manning, and Daniel Jones. Now you take that list. That, that's five quarterbacks. Is Caleb Williams better than any of those guys? I, I don't think so. Maybe Baker Mayfield, but again, at least Baker Mayfield's got some heart in him. That guy goes out there and balls. So I, I just don't see it under 23 and a half touchdowns. What an incredible stat that is. So many great names that aren't on the list. That's how hard the transition is from college to the NFL. I thought CJ Stroud would have been on that list. Twenty. I think he was at 22 or 23, maybe. Wow. maybe wow. Somewhere. Yeah, just off the list, yeah. Great stat, Seabass. Great stat. Mm -hmm. Wow. Sox Nation, we respect your opinion. Look at their pickups. Defensive top 10 when we got sweat. And you did pay DJ Moore, so he got his money. So, and Keenan Allen. So, you got some names. But there's a reason the Chargers let Keenan Allen go. Uh, you guys know my man, Coach Phil. He might be back in the fall. He was the wide receivers coach for the Chargers when Keenan Allen was there. So I've talked to him in my preparation. And Keenan Allen, he's lost a step. He got hurt. That's why they let him go. So DJ Moore, a lot of double teams this year. A lot of double teams this year. Uh, anybody have anything? Oh, yes, C. Basco. Just looked it up. Stroud, Dak Prescott, and Andrew Luck all at 23. So that, that's your next right grouping below. right there. So still under, yeah. Right below. Thank you, C. Bass. Appreciate that. Everybody else good on the Bears? Anything yeah. else? All right.